What's going on guys? Today I'm doing a quick review on the K2 Explorer Intex kayak. In this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this inflatable kayak, including one thing I think you should know before buying. So why did I get this inflatable kayak? Well, it's pretty simple. I've been doing kayaking most of my life and I wanted to keep kayaking, but right now all that we have is a car. We do not have an SUV to transport it. So I needed something that was smaller or inflatable and this definitely fit the bill. So in terms of the classes of rafting that we've done with this, so we have done uh, class one, two, and we did three one time. Uh, that was two times ago. Uh, that was interesting because in that there was definitely some rocks that we bumped into. It did hold up, uh, but I would say that's probably the highest you want to go in terms of classes. I don't think it makes any sense to really push the limits beyond that um, because you do run the risk of popping this thing. We did not have that situation and everything's been fine with it. But I think, you know, classes one through three are probably the best ones. Uh, one and two primarily. Two we've never had a problem with, and we have a great time when we do that. So yeah, guys, in terms of durability, that was my biggest worry with this, and it actually has done a great job compared to what I thought it would do. Um, I was a little bit hesitant on that, because I was like, well, you know, but if you're not going on crazy, crazy rapids out there, I think you'd be okay. Um, in terms of the inners of it and everything like that, so there's a Velcro piece down here. There's also a Velcro piece under this seat, which quite honestly had me a little worried because I was like well Velcro is that really going to hold well when you're sitting down it does hold and there's no problem at all beyond that it does come with two of these oars um, I just have one right here but it does come with two uh, if you do want to use that I've used this myself and with my wife so I figure that's worth mentioning um, the other thing I was a little worried about was right here so these are inflatable these are also inflatable all this is uh, but this straps to here and I was a little bit worried because I was like well is it really going to be able to hold these spots with a person sitting in here I've used this, like I said, many, many times, and I've had absolutely no problems uh, with any of this pulling or kind of becoming detached from the, uh, the inflatable kayak itself. So that's been holding up well as well. And I really do think that this is very durable uh, considering that it is the inflatable version. Right, guys, I'm gonna sit in this thing in a second here, but I did wanna mention a few other things. So this has a capacity of 400 pounds uh, between two people. So my wife and I are just under that, so we're good. Uh, we're about 360 and it doesn't struggle. Uh, and then this oar is about 86 inches total to give you an idea of the size. This thing really does move. Um, I've been surprised at how well, when you're paddling and everything, how well it goes. Uh, in terms of the one thing that you need to know before buying, right? So you have to use, I mean, if you have another pump, that'd be great. But this is the pump that we have. This is what comes with it. Pumping this and putting it all, you know, getting it ready to go probably takes a good 15 minutes or so. Um, and there's a lot of pumping involved because this thing doesn't give you a ton of pumping power when you're doing it. Uh, but basically you go by the numerical things here. So you can see there's a one there, two, three, and then a four here and a five there. I actually deflated that uh, just now. But that is the way that you inflate this thing. Um, and you want to do that because it's just the proper way to do it. It also on the bottom has a fin. I just detached it to show you this review. Uh, but anyway, that's the one thing to know about it is that when you're putting this together, it does take a little bit of work. Like I said, about 15 minutes or so pumping, putting everything together. But once you're done, it does completely deflate into a very, very small, small bag. I'll show you that as well at the end here. But that said, let me go ahead. I'm going to actually, this is kind of silly. I'm going to put this thing in my pool just to show you that it does work. Um, and I know we've used it multiple times at the lake, but that's all I can do for you today. So let me put that in there real quick. So here it is guys. You can see, obviously I'm sitting here. Usually my wife will sit up there to balance it out a little bit. How about 220 pounds? Holds me, no problem. We've used it multiple times and absolutely love it. So if you're considering it, we definitely recommend it. 